We begin with President Trump's anger over the anonymous letter published by the New York Times. Tonight, the president ordering the Times revealed the identity of the writer to turn them over for national security purposes. After that senior administration official wrote, members of the administration are protecting the country from the president. And tonight, a long list of denials coming in. Take a look. More than a dozen so far, key figures, members of the cabinet, have all denied they were behind the letter. And there was even some speculation about a word that was used that's been used before by Vice President Mike Pence. Tonight, he has come forward to say it was not him. The president is said to be seething, asking in the last 24 hours, is this treason? Tonight, the clues, the denials, and the suggestion about who he can trust. ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, leading us off. As he left the White House today, President Trump didn't say a single word about the enemy within. Mr. President, are you going to find out who wrote the op-ed? But ever since the New York Times published the anonymous essay, the president has been seething. So if the failing New York Times has an anonymous editorial, can you believe it? Anonymous, meaning gutless, a gutless editorial. In the essay, the unnamed senior administration official describes President Trump's leadership as impetuous, adversarial, petty, and ineffective, adding the root of the problem is the president's amorality. The official claims there were early whispers within the cabinet of invoking the 25th Amendment, which would start a complex process for removing the president. The writer says there is now a quiet resistance within the administration, and that many senior officials are working diligently from within to frustrate parts of the president's agenda and his worst inclinations. As the White House tries to figure out who wrote the essay, the denials from senior officials are pouring in, more than a dozen, from Defense Secretary James Mattis to Attorney General Jeff Sessions to the Secretary of State. Uh, I come from a place where if, if you're not in a position to execute the commander's intent, you have a singular option, it is to leave. Throughout Washington, people are now mining the essay for clues that might reveal its author, some zeroing in on the word lodestar, noting it is a word that often appears in speeches by Vice President Pence. And today, even he felt the need to say it wasn't him. Well, I think it's a disgrace, and I think the New York Times should be ashamed, and I think whoever wrote this anonymous editorial should also be ashamed as well. The First Lady is now accusing the writer of, quote, sabotaging the country, and the president is demanding the Times reveal the official's identity, tweeting, the Times must, for national security purposes, turn him, her over to government at once. With the paper's editor saying they won't do that, Press Secretary Sarah Sanders tweeted, if you want to know who the gutless loser is, call the opinion desk of the failing New York Times. But at least some Republicans say they aren't surprised by the essay. Anyone who's had any dealings with the White House knows this is exactly the way things have been from day one and are today. And today, the president's favorite cable news show is offering him some advice. Keep it all Tonight, in the family. If I was the president, this is what I would do. I would get the people I could trust, which majorly is family who have been very effective in Jared Kushner, Ivanka, if you want to bring Eric in. And I would put them in on almost all key meetings. Well, the message there would seem the president can now trust members of his own family that they should be in the room. But John Carl live at the White House tonight. And John, everyone now trying to figure out who the writer is. This senior administration official, it seems to be the biggest hunt for a mole really since Watergate. The hunt is on, David, but it may be a long time before we find out who wrote this essay. Remember, when it comes to Watergate, it was more than 30 years before we found out who Deep Throat was. David? Right. John Carl leading us off again tonight. Thank you, John. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.